both, to me, they're both on the same level. But when it comes to the real thing, the boxing, Anthony Joshua is... He's a very good talent. He's a very, very good... He's got a good team around him, what guides him. Very good team in every way. Business um, and other stuff. But is he really... Is he really the king of kings? Forget about Wilder. Is he really the king of kings until he beats Tyson Fury? Because if Tyson Fury did not go to Germany and did what he did, none of them would be world champion. Klitschko would still be around today picking oh, him, picking him, picking him, picking him, keeping away from all the big ones. But Tyson Fury unlocked the door for all the belts to be give all around the world. Including Joshua's. Now Joshua done an extremely good job against Klitschko. One of the exciting fights I've seen. Um, I've got to take me out of to him. Now I like Joshua as a person. I like what he does in the ring. I like Tyson as a person. I like what Tyson does in the ring. And Tyson is my mate. And if I was to think that. It's a close fight. I'd say. I don't talk shit around boxing. I'd say well. He, you know he's got to be on his game. But. Tyson can make that a comfortable fight for himself. And Joshua is right. Tyson do need to get back in the gym, do need to get losing weight. But he's he's now working, he's doing a bit of work with Ben. Now, Ben Davis, let me tell you about Ben. Have, have you heard the saying whether a happy fight is a dangerous fighter? Tyson obviously wasn't happy in the past or whatever he's done. He ain't been happy in the last 18 months. But Ben brings that happiness out in fighters. You know, I think where he's on the same age. When I boxed in Scotland, Ben got a lot of flat because, oh, Ben was in the corner, what he was saying. But Ben got me through that fight. Other people, if I had a stranger in the corner, they didn't, they wouldn't know what to say to me, when to say it, to bring that out of me. So Ben got me 45% of that win, as well as myself. Terrible performance for me, going up in weight, not living the life properly, not taking boxing seriously, and just acting like an idiot. End of story. So that's my fault. Don't take the shine off Ben. Ben is a good little trainer. He's going to be in the next two or three years. You'll hear of him, if not sooner, of being up there with the best of the best. He's done a fantastic job with Tom Little. A fantastic job. Who's he's now in line to fight Joe Joyce, another great fighter, good heavyweight. Um. You know, so I think that's a good move. For, with Tyson getting the love back with Ben because that he he brings that he brings the he he just brings fun into the element, you know what I mean? He brings training fun and he brings it down to your sort of level. And he adjusts as well. And um I don't know where Tyson's gonna go if he's gonna train with Peter or train with Ben. But whoever Tyson trains with, when he's on it, there's not an heavy weight to beat him. He's just too far. You look at him on the pads now, come on, he's out of shape. There is no fitness there, but this look at the speed. Look how he's moving. He can he move. He's moving like a middleweight, and uh, that's hard to find. That is hard to find. And uh, he's just if he puts his head to it this year, gets his weight down. <coughs> I believe by the end of two thousand eighteen, he'll have everything back. Mine's none. But if it's going to happen, it's going to happen now because he obviously his hearing's due soon. Once that's cleared and out the way, hopefully, then gets his license back and then. Well, look, I'll tell you what a good thing to do. It's you, Caddy's in with, isn't it? You can put their hands up in the air. Tyson, a wave, shake their hand, all go their own way. What's happened's happened. It's past you now. You can't bring that back. Go the separate ways. Tyson won't sue them. They still get to carry on with the job. Because let me tell you one thing. Tyson has... What people don't realise is Tyson's got um, backers <coughs> if they want to play stupid. Like Tyson's got backers with stupid amounts of, of money. Stupid amounts. I'm not talking just millions neither. Um... Like oil dealers are dealing oil all around the world, like real, real powerful people. So, if it, money's not an issue when it comes to the fury about going to court, that's for sure. 
So I like to see it put an end to it and just forgot about everyone go their own way and let Tyson get back on to doing what he's doing. Because Tyson's got to live. Tyson's got a family. Tyson's, Tyson wants to secure his legacy, I suppose, to to, um, to a point. But, you know, he has been messed about this last 18 months. And I personally just think that stuff like that, if Tyson could do something else as as a job, then you'd say, yeah, if you can go and play rugby or play football for a living, then it's a different story. Or, or if he could be a, if he's a great mm. builder and got a good, you know, it'd be different. But it's not without boxing, Tyson can't go on really. One of the other things that's happened in the last week is you've seen this thing with Joshua and Eddie Chambers, these alleged Instagram messages. Um, Alleged hacking of Instagram accounts. Have you taken any notes of any of this? I see a little bit of it, but I think it's all been blown out of proportion. Josh was a like I said earlier on a good a good role model. He's not an angel because he's had troubles in the past, but how he's brought his life around, what platform he's on. <clears throat> when you're that high up, people's always going to try and shoot you down. And I just think Joshua which I think he has done, is just put a deaf ear to it and just carried on. Um, you know, I don't know why that that fellow would want to do that to Joshua anyway. It's not like he he could. he's in a line, he's mandatory.